Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. So, uh, of course, we've shown you how to get here, and now you are, and you're wondering, okay, what's next? Well, the first option, the one that is chosen by default, exit and continue to Windows 11 or Windows 10 in the case you're using Windows 10. That means that it's simply going to go and continue booting Windows as usual, as if nothing changed. If you have a problem and your computer restarted and got you there, then you might want to try this option and maybe it's going to boot back to Windows and it's going to be fine. The second option, use a device as use a USB device, network connection or a Windows recovery DVD. So in this option, what you will have is four options. The USB device, UF EFI, EFI DVD CD-ROM, EFI network, or internal EFI shell. Why EFI? What's the thing? So, of course, PCs today have a new type of firmware that is beyond the BIOS and is the UEFI BIOS. What the extended uh, firmware here actually boots differently. When your computer is set up for EFI boot up, you have to have your devices formatted in a specific special way in order for your PC to see the USB device and being able to boot from it. Um, for example, if you create a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 USB drive, you need to have it done in a specific way in order for the boot here to work with that device. Or else, what's going to happen is that your PC is just not going to see and boot up with that device. But once that device is created and created correctly, you have here the ability to boot up from a USB device. That is a USB thumb drive. You have also sometimes in here USB DVD players, USB hard drives, EFI DVD, CD-ROM, any internal CD or DVD-ROM that you have that would be properly um, done for boot up would work. And EFI network means this is over a network. So for example, in enterprise, this could be an option to actually boot from a network rather than booting from an internal device. Uh, in essence, your computer is kind of a terminal machine that connects and boots up from some server or some other computer. And then there's the internal EFI shell, which is a different thing that we'll talk about in a separate video. So this is where you could boot from some device in order to have access to either Windows install or any other type of booting that you need to have, anything that would actually be running on your PC, uh, be it a USB, a DVD, or over the network and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.